What's going on guys, it's Jerome Mon, and today we're gonna to be talking about something that I think is important or at least healthy to talk about. And as you can tell with the video title, we are talking about Colin Kaepernick and Nike. Now, in case you're not familiar with what's going on, Nike officially made Colin Kaepernick the face of their brand new Just Do It campaign. Now, this is big news because Colin Kaepernick, who used to be a quarterback in the NFL for my 49ers, is no longer a quarterback in the NFL. He's really a social activist. He's really the face of the protests going on all around sports, but specifically the NFL of kneeling during the national anthem. Now you guys probably know that kneeling during the anthem has been a huge topic of discussion in this nation for quite some time now. I mean, it's national news. We got celebrities tweeting about it. ESPN is covering it what seems like every day. And even the president of the United States of America tweets about this very topic, what seems like daily. So he's got a very strong stance on it. And then obviously you have people who support the president's stance on it. And then obviously you have other people who don't support the president's stance on it. So it's kind of been this weird, I don't want to say divide in the nation, but it's definitely an elephant in the room or country, if you want to say that, where, you know, every Thursday, Sunday, and Monday when the football games are on, people seem to be talking about it, whether it's right to kneel during the anthem or whether it's wrong and why it's right and why it's wrong. Now, like I said, Nike has made Colin Kaepernick the official face of their Just Do It campaign, and this has really offended some people a lot of people on social media that I follow have started boycotting Nike, burning their Nikes, throwing their Nikes in the trash, whether it be shoes, clothing, whatever, any Nike product, they're basically boycotting it and destroying it. And then a lot of other people that I follow have been taking offense to that action of people being offended by Nike's support of Colin Kaepernick and then burning their Nike products. Now, a lot of the people, not all of them, but a lot of them who are cutting the logos out of their Nike products, burning their Nike products. A lot of these people are veterans who serve this country. And the reason why they're doing this, the reason why they're boycotting Nike is because they feel like they're supporting Colin Kaepernick, who's a guy who kneeled during the anthem. And they feel like kneeling during the anthem is disrespectful to veterans who protect and serve this country. Now, as for my opinion, I respect both sides of it. I respect that Colin Kaepernick can do whatever he wants. There's no law against what he did. And I can respect the other opinion of it is disrespectful. For my opinion, I do think it's a little disrespectful, but I want Colin to say what he wants to say. I want these guys in the NFL and in sports or anyone in the country to say what they have to say to get their message across. And that's how he felt like he had to do it. But in my opinion, I would never kneel during the anthem. And I actually can relate to this because I grew up a Jehovah's Witness. Now, every day before school, I'm sure you guys can relate. We have to put our right hand over our chest and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Now, my mom, as a Jehovah's Witness, told me that we do not say the Pledge of Allegiance. You don't have to say it. Here's what you do. Stand up, be quiet, put your hands by your side and wait for everyone to be done and then sit back down. That's what my mom told me to do. She told me don't sit during it because that's disrespectful. Stand up, respect other people. And I think this was a very important lesson because it taught me that I could respect the act of the Pledge of Allegiance, but I didn't have to participate in it because it didn't stand for what we as Jehovah's Witnesses believed in. So again, I would never kneel during the anthem, but I respect both sides. I don't get offended by either side. It is a little troubling because I don't like to see my country kind of be divided like this. I want the open line of communication so we could talk to each other respectfully and respect other people's opinions without having to change your own opinion. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I can't guarantee that you're gonna change my mind, but I can guarantee I will respect your opinion no matter what it is, just as long as you do it in a respectful way. So let me know in the comment section below, will this Nike and Colin Kaepernick partnership make you guys not wanna buy Nikes anymore? Make you guys wanna throw away your Nike stuff? Stop wearing your Nike stuff? Let us know what you feel in the comment section below. Do it respectfully so we can talk about it and maybe come to a compromise here, you know? It doesn't matter if my friend doesn't like Nikes and he's not gonna wear it. I don't have to be offended by it. I'm gonna keep wearing Nikes and he shouldn't be offended that I'm wearing Nikes. Because if my friend who's a veteran 
thinks that I don't respect him because of the clothes I wear, then he's got it all twisted because I respect the hell out of veterans. And it doesn't mean I have to stop wearing Nikes to respect him. And that's what I'm trying to say. We could respect each other without having to change our way of life or our opinions. So again, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. This is just something that I had to get off my chest because again, I hate seeing people argue with each other. Um, I don't like seeing my country being divided like this. It, it just, it sucks, you know? It really sucks because the world is watching with social media and they're looking at America and they're saying, wow, those people really hate each other. And this is not true. That's not the America that I wanna live in. That's not the America I wanna be in the future. I want I want to try to make it a better place and this is just my little you know dropping a penny in the fountain to wish for a better outcome so that's why I made this video hopefully you guys respect it you respect my opinion because I respect yours and um, let, let us know let's make the discussion in the comment section below because I think it's important I think it's healthy to talk about it in a respectful way so just let your thoughts be in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace Always peace. Always choose peace.